so we're here, York Hall. It is the RevPro 10th anniversary show. And on the main event is myself versus Will Ospreay. This will be our fourth time wrestling one another. The first one was at PWG Bola 2015 in a big match in the middle of the tournament. We just went crazy. Then the next one was right here in, I want to say 2016, when he had just come back from wrestling Best of the Super Juniors, crowd really on his side. That was a hot one as well. Then number three, I think it's probably my most watched match by everyone on YouTube is our uh, What Culture Pro Wrestling World Cup semi-final match. That was a really hot one as well. So I'm super pumped for today. Let's see how it goes. Last night was insane. 
I hope you can all go find that match and watch it in its entirety because it was fantastic. Uh, Will Ospreay, probably the best wrestler in the world. I've said it before, but I think uh, you can make a pretty compelling case. Um, however, of course, I think I'm, I'm the best wrestler in the world, but you know, that is of course a very subjective notion. So today it's me and Leon Slater. Hopefully that's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go get some food, do normal pre-show stuff. And we're going.
Thank you, Dan. Anytime, babe. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, bro. Oh, man. Literally, much of my life. Literally. Really? Literally, much of my life, bro. Well, so that would mean a lot if it was like a, you know, 35 year old vet going, I've had a thousand matches. But like, how many matches have you had? So you're 17, yeah. but you've been wrestling for seven years now, since I was 10. Why? So you've been having matches? Since you were 10? Yeah, so like training matches, but like proper matches, like real shows, probably since like last October, I've only been on real okay. shows. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So I started when I was 15. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, good age. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm a bit in between because I'm glad I started early because now I'm at this stage, at this age. Yeah. But obviously my body in the long run is going to take a toll on it. But so, two sides of it. I, I think because where you are, you're already intelligent enough that you'll be able to modify your style for what uh, the, the shooter knees for me is a good example of that. My favorite style was a Phoenix Splash. Mm. And then doing it in a match, because they're more likely to go up, because it's the coolest thing in the shop. Because this is, again, this is French Canada in the early, like before social media, before you yeah. could advertise shows, so there was no money to be made and no one cared. Mm. But Phoenix hurt my wrist a lot landing it every time. Yeah, and then I switched to shooting Star Press, and then Missing that was always a pain, it's just a flat bump, so when I do the knees, at least land and it's yeah. much easier. But you have the intelligence and wherewithal to adapt your stuff and just figure out something cool. Yeah, um, for sure. Instead of whatever. Maybe I'll start doing the double knees on that. Yeah. <laughs> Swanton 450 double knees? <laughs> Nobody's gonna take that. That's Nobody would take that. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, uh, that was a super fun match. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. Where can people find you online social media? Uh, they, they just saw highlights of the match and stuff. Official so. zero dot zero one on Instagram and the same on Twitter with an underscore instead of the point. That's where I'm at. Thank you. Thank you.